Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now today's question comes from a house cleaner who says, in the industry of house cleaning, there's a term that's tossed around a lot and it's called speed cleaning. What is the big deal about speed cleaning? Okay, well, the big deal about speed cleaning is that there are only 24 hours in a day. Time is a a non-renewable resource. And so once that time is gone, you never get that time back. Like when you're driving down the interstate and there's a speed limit sign that says 55 miles per hour. The object is to try to go 55 miles per hour. And some people will actually go 57 or 60 miles per hour because they want to get wherever they're going a little bit faster. If you only went 35 miles per hour, yeah, you might have a safer drive and you might enjoy the scenery a little bit more, but you're not going to get where you need to go more quickly. Now, because time is a non-renewable resource, you only have so much of it every day. And so if you're very slow at cleaning houses, you might only be able to clean one house a day and you get paid X amount of dollars for cleaning that house. If you're fast, you can clean two houses in the day and you can make twice the money. And so if you would like to make twice the money and you would like to maximize your time, that's where speed cleaning comes in. I mean, it sounds very obvious, but we don't want to skip stuff and we don't want to be sloppy. The process of speed cleaning is to do everything once and to do it correctly and to stop cleaning when something is clean. Now here's a speed cleaning technique. This is what I'm talking about. When you are speed cleaning, you will start with your rag at the top of a mirror and you will go in an S shaped pattern all the way down to the bottom so that you're not going back over the part you just cleaned. A non speed cleaning technique would be to go in a circular motion where now that you've just cleaned something, now you're going back over it again And you might hit the same spot three or four times and you're taking all the dirt germs and dust that you just wiped off. And now you're taking it back over the clean area that you just cleaned. So that's a non speed cleaning technique. So if you have a choice to learn speed cleaning, by all means, if you're in the house cleaning business, you better learn speed cleaning because everything that we do in the house cleaning business is predicated on the fact that you are fast and efficient at what you do. And so it would be things like doing the S pattern when you're cleaning and not hitting that same spot again, using a flashlight and checking your work to make sure that there are no crumbs and there's nothing left on a countertop. And once you've cleaned it, you're done. Don't keep rewiping an already clean countertop. That's wasteful. And it doesn't, it doesn't save you any time. So it brings to your focus exactly what you're doing. And one of the speed cleaning techniques is to be present in the moment. It's super easy to zone out when you're cleaning and just kind of go about your merry way. And then you slow down and you're thinking about other things and you're not paying attention. But if you're paying attention and you are working like clockwork, you will be very fast and very efficient and very effective. And then you can go on to the next house. And like I say, you can make twice the money than if you just did one house. So that is the big deal about speed cleaning. And if you can do speed cleaning and you can teach all of your employees to do speed cleaning, you're going to have a rocking business and your customers are going to love you because you do great work and you're fast. That's the big deal. Alrighty. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. (laughs) 